G'day mates and welcome to something I've been meaning to do for a while. That's a fucking lie. <laughs> there was one reason that I chose this country. There was all the comments telling me to play it. There was actually from quite a while back people have been telling me to play Flin- uh, Flinland? Flinland for quite a while. But uh, the only reason I chose it was because I looked to my pile of alcohol and that was the only vodka bottle I had. So uh, welcome to the Republic of Finland. So, let's have a little peek at the tree. Now, we are running a few mods today. We're running Bad AI, because I kind of want to see some fun stuff with that. We're running Road to 56, as always, my favourite bloody mod from this game. Uh, we are running Non-Aligned Ministers, uh, and we're also Faction Manager. Oh, thank God. So we're running Faction Manager the bit. Oh my God! <laughs> He's no Leon de Grill, but that man. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh boy, that's good. Okay. Well, I want to keep him in power because that moustache combo with that. Are you seeing this shit look is amazing. Anyway. So let's just chill things back a bit. So we've got the non aligned ministers, uh, reactionary champions. Yeah, we've got non aligned boosting and non aligned taking over. Uh, we've got. Faction Manager with Zero Cost Ideas. We've got Communism Band. This is our ideas. Oh, sorry. Mods first. Right. So, um, apart from that. So, yeah. Faction Manager. Road 56. Bad AI. Non-aligned mods. That's about it. Cool. Um, God. Look at our fucking trees. So, let's look at our ideas first. We've got Sisu, which is the, um, resilience. That's, I believe it's what they called their tactics for beating the Russians. Was Sisu. Or Sisu. However you pronounce that. I'm sure I'll get 20 different pronunciations in the chat. Uh, okay, we've got, what, recovery rate, attrition, uh, attack and defense, good shit, comment and band, and all that lovely stuff. Now, if we look over, let's look at the, look at the political stuff last. We've got military, modernize the army we can motorize, ooh, or infantry. Now, I think we might run a sort of defensive, like, I don't, I don't really want to do another isolation, but I, like, I want to isolate against the Russians. Ooh. Oh my god, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah, build a bunch of fighters, basically. Brothers, Kurok, they have a... Important. Important! <laughs> Airfield and facilities, we need to take, take control of them. That's pretty cool. Alright. Recruit scientists. These all look pretty standard. There's a few nice ones here and there. Um, ooh, this is nice. Hell yeah, okay. Like, there's a few little unique ones. Oh, there we go. Created license production. Oh, nice, they do actually have the license production stuff. Cool. Alright, so that's all fun. Um, oh, the Aland question? What's this? What to do with the territory of Aland? Shit, okay. Oh, is it demilitarized? Hang on a second. Yeah, it's a demilitarized zone, this island. Ha! Huh. There's the Aland Islands, we can release them. Cool, alright, so that's pretty nice. Uh, okay, but going down here, we've got indoctrination, you know, communism. We're not going communism, let's be real here. Although I do like it that you've got, um... What's it called? You can legalize communism, you can restore the Red Guard, you can ban fascism, the Unholy Alliance, uh, and then we go after the Axis, or we go after our own way and make everyone else communist. Bring down the false communists. Worldwide Revolution! That's such a good one. I love that. Alright, looking over here, we've got Nationalism, which means we join the Axis. That's our pretty much only choice. Go to all Sweden, Norway, Denmark, yada yada yada. Greater Finland. Oh shit. It's pretty nice. Trade agreement with Germany. That's uh, research stuff. <sighs> Fucking hell, five research popularity. Uh, re five research popularity. Five recruitable population. I like how bad I fucked that up, but I still sort of kept along the same path. Um, Finland, this is, I think, going against the Soviet Union. Oh, hello. You can get Germany cores. You get an SS division. That's actually really cool. Oh, I really like that idea, actually. Operation Barbarossa. Barbarossa. That's all pretty neat. Uh, we look over to the individual freedom. So, armed neutrality. Uh, we can defend the fatherland. Holy shit. Universal conscription. Nice stuff. Share military experience. So that's basically going down... Whoa, if you... If Sweden accepts, you declare war on Germany. Shit. Okay, that's pretty neat. So we... Okay, so we can go down here and work with Sweden, basically. Um... 
Whoa, we can go down the neutral focus, but still ally with Germany? This is really cool, actually. If accepted by the Soviets, oh, we can we can basically uh, pull out of the war. That's really nice. But the same idea. Okay, I'm torn between neutrality and going down with Sweden. Oh, I really like the joining Germany, but like not actually going fascist. That's pretty neat. Um, hmm, although that does give us fascist synthesizers. Uh, synthesizers. The, the synthesizers. Yes, <laughs> let us create the fascists from 3D printers. At the same time. Whoa, you will annex Norway, Sweden, and Denmark and form a new country called the Nordic Union. We're fucking doing that. You <laughs> fucking betcha. Yeah, we're going down the making the Nordic Union path because that sounds fucking awesome. The Nordic Defensive Alliance? Hell yeah. Oh, we're, we're, we're making the Nordic Union. The other one is the Soviet threat. I kind of like that one. But, uh... But no, we're going to go down the Nordic Defensive Alliance. Hell yeah. <laughs> That sounds like some right good fun. Oh, hang on, my time is going wonky. Oh, and I fixed my timer up. Lovely. Right, well, let's get to work then. So, first of all, we're going to want some civvy factories because uh, we're definitely going to build some forts along the border when we can. Why are the forts here? We need to build some forts closer there. Uh, we have boats. Let's get our comp... Oh, <laughs> it's adorable! It's so tiny! It's a teeny, tiny one. Look at it. <laughs> Look at how fucking small that is. Okay, well, let's get some convoys going. Um, let's get some artillery rolling. Butte. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you have voices. Oh, shit, you do too. Oh, nice. That's fucking awesome. All right, uh, we're going to get this. Holy shit, our field marshals. But he's an old guard. I think we'd rather go uh, winter specialist, maybe. Oh, I mean, not that great, really. I feel like we'd get more use out of the uh, defensive doctrine. Let's do exactly that. And we call these boys the uh, cis... How do you spell... Fuck, what's that thing? Cis vey or whatever the thing that you cook meat in? Oh, fuck, I don't know. Cis... <laughs> no, we're calling sailors. I always pop out and call people sailors. Well, let's just get these boys on the border. I like how the border skips over this lake. That's really nice that it doesn't force you to do two, uh, two separate borders. Let's just get this going on here. Good stuff, okay. Uh, and now what do we want? We want to go... Oh, it's weird, they've actually got all the German gear. I guess that makes sense, though. I kind of want to make a... Uh, is there any sort of winter specialists? There aren't really, are there? No, but I still think we'd want to go, like... I want to get, like, shock troops. Yeah, yeah, we'll look, we'll look to doing that in a moment. For now, let's uh, get the basis of our industry. We'll get one thing running uh, military style, and, uh, and the rest running... What do you call it? Bloody, uh, industry. Fuck, we got no manpower to start with. That's pretty rough. We're going to want to actually go down the, uh, military tree pretty quick then, because if we go... Oh! Restrictions on Bulgaria lifted. Uh, the Greek government... It's been limited... Oh, shit, okay. Cool, that was quick. Weird. Um, no, I was going to go... We want to go down... Not you. Shit, there was somewhere. Motti tactics, that's been neat. Is it reactionaries gain support? What? What? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. Who's in charge now? Oh, the default bastard. Shit, we have to get a democratic guy in power. It's because the... Fuck, I, I didn't realize this, this would be a problem, but because it's just when there's 50% non-aligned, it becomes a non-aligned nation. That means that the non-aligned are going to take control everywhere. Oh, shit. Well, this is off to a great start. Who else is going to be changed? You're non-aligned. You're democratic. I'm wondering because there's a few nations I know of that definitely... Uh... So, yeah, Brazil. Oh, no. Brazil might start non-aligned anyway. There's definitely a few nations that are democratic, but they have more non-aligned than they have democratic. Militarization of the Rhineland. Yeah, it's fine. Um, let's... Do you want to get down this real quick? See, I'm just thinking we need to find that bloody... There was something, there was some, like, modernized... No, infantry back row? No, there was... God, which one was it? One that gave us a bunch of, uh, troops. Maybe I was looking at, like, Finnish militarism or something. I might have been, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was looking at universal conscription. Well, we're not going down that path, so whatever. Um, just, I wasn't gonna 
bump up my thing because it gives me extensive conscription as part of the law. But, uh, fuck it. We'll just pick this up. For now, however, we have to pick up Democratic Reformer. Because we're going to be a democracy! Knowing we're in our right, we can afford allowing our enemies to talk more openly. Um, sure. Okay. So here's the plan, right? We're going to get the other nations in the Nordic Union, we're going to deal with the Soviets, and then we're going to try and take over Europe. And once I've conquered Europe, I think I'll call it that. I don't want to go to Asia. I'm sick of land wars in Asia. But Europe should be part of the Nordic Union. I think <laughs> we should raid Britain, as uh, as all good Nordic nations should. You know, America, whatever. Fuck off, America. We, we can make um, fucking men in the high castle out of America, but it's all the Nordic Union. It'd be great. Oh. Oh, no. Hang on, let me just turn my ears down slightly. Sweden. N n no. No, Sweden. That's naughty. They've revoked the Allen Convention. So, <clears throat> the Allen Convention was signed in 1921 when Sweden and Finland had agreed to let the islands remain within Finnish sovereignty within a large degree of autonomy. Furthermore, the demilitarization of the territory was essential if, uh, if it should pass in the League of Nations. The Swedes have now decided to reclaim Åland as part of their territory. <laughs> Given that the large Swedish population in the islands is, this is hardly surprising. Many generals and po uh, politicians have pushed for this since the convention was signed. Since the convention is one of the first rulings by the League of Nations, Sweden's position in the organization might be challenged. Sweden. Sweden, no. Naughty. Let's dance our troubles away. Wait, this is the one. Good stuff. Uh, Sweden, this is mine. Stop going down the fascist tree, please. Hang on a second. Revoking the Allen Constitution. Yeah, it's abandoning neutrality. It means they're either going communist or nationalist. <laughs> oh, boy. We're gonna have to deal with Sweden first, aren't we? Yep. Let's change which borders those fucking things are on. Hang on, wait. We have uh, military. Let's get ourselves some shock troops. Hell yeah. Alright, lads. Hence the night away. Until the break of day. Good song, that. Um, let's call ourselves in some more true. Oh, shit, we're already unlimited. We can't go to... Well, we're fucked on that half, alright. Um, we could go to early mobiles. I think let's look into getting some more bloody political power to start things off. We c Actually, no, let's get uh, defensive ideas. Uh, exchange of ideas, rather. Um, oh, shit, no. Oh, fuck, we have a silent workhorse. Oh, Remy, you idiot. Ah, oh, we should have gotten the silent workhorse. By the way, well, the whole point of exchange of ideas is that that's going to give us more democracy and also give us faster uh, research. Anyway, now we need to hang on, Manaheim. Oh, hmm. See, okay, what does CGE stand for? The Cult of Great Extremism. <laughs> it doesn't matter what kind of extremism, right? It's just, if it's extreme, they're all for it. Extreme Catholic Catholicism? Sure. Extreme Islamism? Sure. You know what? Extreme Atheism? You got it. <laughs> They'll let anyone in as long as they're just extremely crazy about their beliefs. Perfect. Um, so Sweden, I'm gonna need to keep you non- <laughs> Fuck, I don't wanna boost them on aligned. God damn it. Okay, interventionism. Let's get rolling on the Nordic Defensive Alliance. Alone we are weak, but together we are strong. We should ally with the other Nordic countries to create a defensive alliance to keep each other safe. Sweden, we're gonna have some issues here, aren't we? Oh, I think we are. Now, yeah, Sweden, I've got a bigger army than you, uh, so we're gonna need to uh, discuss uh, whether or not uh, that is going to come into uh, conflict with us. Hey, Democratic! Yay! That's good fun. Oh shit, we've actually got troopers now. Oh, I guess it's just from growth. God, we only grow 116 a, a month. We need Sweden. We need Lebensstrassen. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, honestly, population-wise, I think we actually really beat out Sweden. We've got 1.6 million down here. What about in their capital? Oh no, 1.5. I guess we're pretty simil similar. How about Norway? Well, we have all pretty similar, uh, simi similar, simile populations, yes, no. Round them up. No, um, accept the referendum. Yes, please. Yes, <laughs> he's back. Pia Einwein Svindhufund is back. The birth of the Nordic Defensive Alliance. Today, the Finnish government announced their plans to create a new defensive alliance called the Nordic Defensive Alliance. 
Its main goals are to create a defensive military pact around the Nordic countries of Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and the Republic of Finland. Republic of Finland has deemed it necessary to push it forwards, citing increasing tensions in the world as a reason. Oh, I thought this was, do I join my own faction? No, I'll join the anti turn pact. Yeah, yeah, we'll be friends. Sure. Fuck communism. Sun in my eyes, the wind in my hair, it's summer. Good times. Uh, let's get ourselves a silent workhorse so we can pump out that political power. Then we'll get ourselves the power in politics and the cultural norms. Although melting, no, not melting pot. Oh no, melting pot's really good. Actually, I might get melting pot. Yeah, it gives me construction speed. A fuck ton of construction. Oh, and holy shit, efficiency retention? Hell yeah. That's really good. Okay, we're growing up a little bit more pop right now. That's all good. Sure, good. Let's look at our um, general. Uh, generals. Oh, yeah, uh, the bloody walls on in the south. Oh, should I have inven interventionism? I could probably join one side. Okay, Sweden, please get in this alliance before you go bonkers. Okay, oh, you're going fascist. Oh, for fuck's sake. I was going to say, um, can I send... Oh, I can too. I can only send one, so let's do exactly that. Who's my champion division? Oh yeah, let's look at our divisions real quick. We've got shit divisions, slightly less shit divisions, and horses. Let's make a proper division, shall we? Oh, we can't. Alright, let's just send one of these lads in. Um, you, on your own, headed by... God, these are all winter specialists. Alright, a ranger. Uh, Heinrichs Himmlers. Perfect. Okay, we're going to send these over to the nationalists. Actually, I guess if I'm... Nah, fuck. Okay, I, like, I, I don't... Ugh. I would rather help the nationalists against the communists. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? <laughs> really? I'm trying to send you help. Are you going to say no? Although I don't really want to send it because I'm afraid you're going to lose, so... He'll say yes, apparently. Look, I'm just going to try again here. Why is it? You've got strategic reasons to be hostile to me. Hang on a second. Can I look? Can I? Okay, if I select you. Yeah. No, I mean, they'll accept it, but I think you're going to lose, so I'm not going to do that. Back to the cult of great extremism. God damn. Okay, shock troops. We're going to need those since we don't have any fucking troops right now. Um. Go down there. What do we even want? Get a bit of uh, motorized going on. Sure, let's start grabbing. Actually, let's get some doctrine stuff going on now. I want to get like trench warfare because I want to have ridiculous entrenchment against the Soviets. So we'll get that. We'll get some special research division rolling. Point is, we want to get our boys nice and ready. Nice and ready for it. What? What? What are you boys doing? Oh, we got uh, some boats. Okay, we'll keep these separate. I'm gonna keep these names just because I want to pronounce them every time. So the so Su Kel Us Vui shall deploy. Ah, great news! Great news! That was not even close. Fucking hell. Um, it's been forever since I watched Futurama. Oh, we've got elections. The 1937 presidential elections. I mean, hang on, hold on, real quick. Let me just put someone in charge of here. Beautiful. And someone in charge of here. Beautiful. I think we just have two heavy cruisers and that's it. Um, so either we let him stay in charge or we let ML take over. Oh, they're not aligned. Oh shit, so the non aligned can just take over. The Democratic Party called Kakumus. <laughs> yes, six more years of Peher and Vein Svinhuften. Perfect. Are they called Kakumus now? <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> that's nice. Oh shit, it only takes 35 days to invite. The Nordic Union will be formed before we know it. Let's get that melting pot up and running. Great news! Um, it's good news, that's why I was fucking... Oh god, that's why it didn't sound right. Anyway. I like how we can go technology agreement and then universal construction. Or unite the Nordic countries. Which is the better one? God, let's have a peek at this, shall we? Nordic Defensive Alliance. And it doesn't look like anything because we're white. Good old Finland. Oh shit, they've made the Benelux. Nice. Oh. Hey, isn't that neat? That's fucking neat. That's neat Oh. Huh. What else we got? Oh yeah, the Benelux in, uh, in Africa, the Allies. I always want America to do anything but join the Allies. Like, 
I want America to make their own faction, or join the communists, or the fascists. It's always so boring when they join the out. Hang on a second. Is Has the bad AI tree changed the... I'm 99% sure the bad AI tree has changed this, because the Road to 56 tree is different, I think. It must be. There's no way... The Nordic Union, but... There's no way the American tree was normally that tiny. It, like... No, not, not in Road to 56. Gosh, surely not. I need to go check this out. Because I felt like the French tree was way too tiny, too. Look, the French tree is tiny. I feel like the, what they've tried to do is they've tried to cut out some focuses so they go straight to the war focuses. This looks like vanilla. Maybe it is vanilla. Maybe, okay, maybe this is vanilla. Either way, this is a very small amount of focuses of vanilla, but it's certainly not Road 56. I swear, America definitely had a, diff a different tree in Road 56. Because see, yeah, because Germany has the default tree too. Maybe it's slightly changed because they can kill Hitler in Road 56. Weird. It's weird, I think by installing bad AI, I've actually made there be less bad AI, because there's not all the Road 56 options, and that kind of makes me sad. We haven't named the theatre something funny yet for everyone to notice, and then say in the comments, Hey, did you notice he changed this theatre? As if I never noticed, and that's the reason why I put it up there. <sighs> After my vodka. Wait, is that how you spell it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it took surprisingly long to film that, because uh, I had to keep... Oh, there's actually a little thing you you may have noticed, which was, which was a little... I did some ADR right afterwards. I basically put sounds in later. The keys fumbling at the door were recorded on the outside and then put in over top. So I sort of... I guess, yeah, I guess, it, I, guess I made the keys louder, but then it looks kind of natural. And I really like that. I really like the way that shot was done, um, where the keys, you could hear the keys clinking, but obviously you really couldn't hear them when you're inside. I mean, you could sort of pick them up uh, on the camera I had inside, but it was nowhere near as clear and nice and jangly as it was when I recorded it from the outside and comboed them together. See? I know how to make more than just Hearts of Iron Let's Plays. Um, right, what are we bloody doing? We don't want power and politics? Hell yeah. Give me some more bloody political power, would ya? Apologies, I just had to go yell on the uh, Discord because someone asked, how do you play D&D? Or like, how do you get stuck into D&D? I'm like, I have answers for you, my boy. And by the way, if you're ever looking to play D&D, step one, find a group on Discord or IRL. Or, if you can't find a group there, go onto a site called Roll20.com. It's amazing, it's basically the best way to play D&D online, and all sorts of those games. I'll fuck off, British Parliament. Step two, find whatever game you want, might be D&D, might be a sci-fi one, might be Game of Thrones like I play, which is HOLY FUCK! <laughs> Woo -hoo! Step three, play the game. On IRL or Roll20, who fucking knows. Nordic country- why is it always this fucking factory? <laughs> this is just where we meet. The Nordic countries unite as one. Today, the Nordic countries of Sweden, Norway, Denmark and the Republic of Finland announced that they are uniting as one country, ruled by what was called the Nordic Council, with the same amount of representatives from every former country of the Nordics. So, Denmark's accepted the offer. Norway's accepted the offer. Sweden's accepted the offer. The Nordic fucking union rises. <laughs> Holy shit. Question is, do we still have Sisu? Oh my god, we do too. The countries may be united, but the people are not. The unification has also called the leaders to think that they are stronger and will not seek allies easily. Ooh, that's neat. Uh, it does cost us political power, though. Ugh, crap. Um... Interventionism. So we don't actually have all of Sweden's ideas and all that sort of stuff. But what we do have is our lads. Now, we're also going to change you guys to not be the shit divisions, because shit divisions are shit divisions, and I don't want shit divisions. So, thanks. Oh, do we get the, uh... Oh, yeah, we got all the... Oh, for fuck! Oh, 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 God. Oh, my mouth. Why? Let's just start deleting these slowly. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, we'll keep this because it's got tanks in. Um, yeah, Jesus. Oh, God, this is horrible. Oh, shock troops. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's train two of these. We'll train two of these. Yes, there we go. I'm not actually going to call them shock troops, though. That's a shit, shit name for them. I'm going to call them the, the Viking Raiders. Fuck yeah. Wait, no, because we'll call our Marines that. Um, yes, I know what we call them. House Carls. Fuck, I need to play some Mountain Blade right now. Mountain Blade is top tier. Oh, I'm so excited for Bannerlord. You don't bloody know it. 
Bannerlord is... Oh, I can't wait. I want to play it so bad. Man, oh man, oh man. Mountain Blade is one of those games that's pretty bloody unique and is just out of there. So much fun. So we didn't pick up any bloody uh, naval technology either, it seems. Oh, well. Let's put you boys in. Oh, fuck. We did pick up the fleets, though. Let's put these all together. So, we got the sub fleets. Good stuff. Okay, you boys are going to go on a Jane Lane. That's his name now. Um, you're based out of Svealand. There you go. All you guys go there. Why do we all have cruisers? What the fuck? Hang on. Oh, we do have some we got some light cruisers. Nine heavy cruisers, eight destroyers. We actually have a fairly nice navy. I'm pretty bloody impressed. Osama, Pinlada. Um, okay, Skullland is our best navy base. There we go. I think it is at least. Hang on. If we uh, check this out real quick, if we go deploying. Yeah, I don't see a nine or a ten. So yeah, okay. Let's do that. Um, we're going to want some more factories. Probably build our factories in Sweden, where it's all nice. A bit in Norway. A bit down in Denmark. Good stuff. Want to keep armor in that border then. Here we go. Just run some level 1 forts. I really like the level 1... Sorry, the, uh, the changes they did to forts, where it's cheaper for the lower level forts. Because it means that actually digging in with forts is a, a very possible idea. It's a very um, potential sort of uh, tactic. Whereas before, it was basically impossible. You wanted to go, like, 10 forts or nothing with the old system. Okay. So we're going to call these boys the, uh, Denmark... Duh... Oof. What's it? Uh, what's, like, a Viking name? We need, we need, like, Viking names. One sec. Okay, so here's the naming scheme we're going for. We've got Dagmar's Danish. And, uh, we'll obviously know Sweden's... Fuck, I need a... Uh, I did an S name from, uh, from the Vikings in a moment. But yeah, we'll get these guys all rolling in. So... We're going to keep the cult of great extremism, just because I find that so fucking funny. But uh, we're going to make the Danish... We'll make them our mounted units. So we'll give them all of our horses and mounted units and such. Although they're sort of dug in, aren't they? Yeah, so we'll, we'll make Dagmar's Danish. We'll make them the... Uh, commando supply? Have they got any sort of forests here? I guess... This is all plains. Oh no, I guess there's a few forests. Alright, we'll, we'll put a forest light in charge then. Sure, okay. Um, so we'll give these guys sort of dig in soldiers and also make sure we change all these guys to the default fucking style. Oh, we're gonna have to change. S I'm gonna organize my lads and I'll be back in a second because this is gonna take a while. We've gotta like figure out four different nations worth of troops into like one template. God. Okay, we're done. That took a while. Let's walk our way through it. So we'll start down here. Cult of Great Extremism, of course. We've changed up all the templates. Let's actually look at the templates first. So, we've got the Viking Warriors, we've got the House Carls, we've got the Berserkers, we've got the Dragon Regiment. That was a Swedish thing, but that's a fucking sick name, so we're keeping it. We're moving on to Dagmar's Danish. We've got Sven's Swedes. Now, Dagmar's Danish is actually is, uh, holding the little pass down here, and they're going to stay there. Sven's Swedes are coming up to here to help out with the Russians along this border. And then Nana's Norwegians are coming down here to push into Leningrad. Why did I go with Nana? Well, that was literally the only name in baby names that came up under Old Norse. Yeah, it just went from, like, Loki, Magma, I don't fucking know, to Nana, and then straight past to uh, all the other names. There's no other N, apparently. And I'm sure someone's going to correct me and go, Well, actually, there was this famous Norwegian by the name of... Go fuck yourself. Uh, now, for boats... Actually, planes, we don't have any of. For some reason, we've got none of. We're going to need to produce some of these. I might actually go down the plane support line, because I'd really like to have air support. The Navy, on the other hand, we have the Viking longboats, which we have a fair fucking amount of. Holy shit. We've got, what, 31? And then we've got the Viking upside-down boats, uh, which we've got 28 of. So they're covering our uh, little navies. Now, we're going to make sure that we have control over this sea, uh, and we're going to knock out Leningrad as soon as possible. Anyway, what else do we want? Oil rubber, uh, I'll leave those be for now. I'd rather use these factories. Oh, choosing the capital of our lo <laughs> choosing the capital of our location. Indeed, it seems currently we are capital. Uh, let's nah Helsinki. I kind of like it being in Stockholm though. Helsinki is nice, but I kind of like how central Stockholm is. Plus, then I have the syndrome. Sure. Let's move it to Svealand. Yay! Now it's a little bit more central, and that looks nice. Plus, it sort of makes sense it would be in Sweden. I think because like you know, central country. I think Sweden has the highest population and money. Maybe? Finland's got the military, though, so maybe. Who knows? 
I'm not quite sure. Um, I think Denmark doesn't just because it's smaller, not because it's like a per capita worst country. Um, and I think Norway has less than Sviden. Um, what are we but what am I looking at this for? Civi infrastructure? I mean, are we building that right now? We're actually building a fair bit. We probably should tap that guy in, sure. After this, we'll grab... Don't want to... I th like, eventually, you always want to end up getting total equality because it's so good. But uh, for now, we'll see. Could go down... Yeah, yeah, we want to go down this line. I do like the idea of armored army and, like, super entrenchment. Like, fuck you, Soviets. You're never taking us. I kind of really like that idea, and I think I'm going to go down it. Um, we got a bit of that, and we need just one more research slot, which is what I'm currently beelining for. But I might take a detour to get some uh, air units up and going. I think really we want to. Oh, it's a Sisu! Nice. Uh, let's okay. Let's get our industry first. We just need bloody artillery and oh shit, we can actually cut back on these. Build a bit more of that. There we go. Bloody, because wow, they brought a lot with them. Holy shit. All right, we'll cut down to that many, and we'll uh, put a little bit extra there. Oh shit, these guys are deploying auto. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Viking upside down boats. Viking long boats. Good stuff. Okay. Get you guys up here. Get you guys up here. Get rid of these. Drop you guys down. There we go. Cool. All right, that's a nice little orderly line. Building up enough guns. We should have well, uh, well enough equipment. We don't have enough uh, people, though. That's going to be the problem. That's for sure. Oh yeah, the Nunners Norwegians we're rolling as our, our uh, what do you call them? <laughs> Mechanized and motorized divisions. These are going to be fast lads. They're currently stationed at Leningrad. So, Dagmar's Danish. Uh, we're almost good. Yeah, I, th I think we'll wait until everyone's, what is it, regular? Yeah, we'll wait until they're all regular. Just because that's going to give us a huge boost. Now, do I go boost that and I go for some Fokkers? And then I go fund VL just to make sure we have a functioning thing. Or do I try and go for research scientists quicker? What's that going to require? I think the fastest path is down here. Oh, no, the fastest path is down here. Um, I mean, they're the same, but this one gives me engineering skill uh, schools, rather. Hmm... I'm not sure. This is like a nice little three-thing detour, but I really want that research. Research is so essential to get early. Yeah, let's let's go down and get the research first, and then we'll get our fighters. The problem is, it might be too late. What with the Winter War and all that. Um, I wonder if the Soviets are going to do that. They're currently doing the Commandant. Mm, yes. Mm. Whoa, okay, they're spreading communism. I mean, they haven't done... When is the... Russian Z? No, 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 no. Wait, when is the friggin' declare war on Finland? Or is that an event? Also, this tree also feels smaller. It feels like maybe the the bad AI has reset them to um the default focus trees. Which is not okay with me, because the default focus trees are fucking tiny. They ain't got nothing in them. Biggest thing, the biggest thing the default focus trees don't have is they don't have a lot of choice. Like, you generally can do most of the focuses. Germany probably has some of the most choices. Uh, some of the most, Jesus. But look at this, right? You've got all of these you can do. One choice here. All of these you can do. One choice here. All of these you can do. And that's it. So, Britain can do all of its focuses apart from two. Uh, America, basically the same. Uh, that's you can lose out in two here, lose out in potentially three here. So yeah, America can do all but five. It's just there's very little cut off, which means like that's what that's why focus trees always look so big in mods, but they end up not really being that big, is because you always go down a certain path. But I prefer it that way because you have a choice. It's nice. It's nice, schla. Paper industry fund. I didn't realize what we're actually funding is the paper industry. Excellent. We'll sure cut those Soviets right into ribbons. Um, could get that. I feel like we should get a bit of doctrine, maybe. But, oh God, what do I want? No, we need we need to get we need to get cars and we need to get bloody first aid hospitals. That's what we need. So, paper industry thundering, thundering. Yes, I do indeed thundering. Um, engineering schools, dockyards, civil factories, military. Good shit. So yeah, I think what we do is we go down. 
once we get this industry, we get the, um, what do you call it? God, the more research one? That one, yeah. Uh, it's like electronic engineering, that's it. Yeah, we get this, and then we... Oh, I, I just, I need one more research slot, because I want to I wanna run, run one in doctrines, one in military gear, one in this special research division, and one in industry. But I just, gah, don't have enough. I hate, I hate the feeling. That's why I love playing like America or any of the big majors that have five friggin' research slots. It feels so good just research everything at once. Okay. We could also probably bump ourselves up to war economy, I guess, once we declare war on, or once the Soviets declare war on us. Yeah, I, I don't think there'll be any really way to get it before then. Oh shit, we've had 200 bloody uh, political power for a while. What am I doing? Um, don't want to go any of that just yet. Could go for some army offense or defense. Well, the defense is a genius. So let's go, yeah, army defense. Um, do we have military theorist? Oh, fuck yeah, let's go military theorist. Hell yeah. Schwelbe. Hey, we have our two house cars. Okay, so they're going to join the cult of great extremism. Or should they join Sven Sveeds? You know, we'll put one in each. So, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? Game. Bulgaria declared war on Yugoslavia. Fair enough. Oh, you've joined the Cult of Great Extremism, and you can join here. There we go. Wait, what? What? No, you join this one. Good, okay, right. So we've got a shock troop on each. And these guys are pretty bloody neat. They're tough. Um, and they are... Better at assaulting urban areas. Actually, oh fuck, if they're better at assaulting urban areas, I should probably stick them on Leningrad duty. But this is a... Hmm... Yeah, Leningrad's gonna be a tough nut to crack. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna put them in with the uh, mobile divisions for now. So, you... And you... Good stuff. And you boys come here. And it also means you guys can train them up. Soviet Union declared war on Afghanistan. Well, that went well for them last time. Oh shit. Okay, this might mean some conflict between the Allies, because they can now, uh, touch the- Oh, they've declared we're in the Kingdom of Iraq! Oh, they're gonna push through the whole lot, aren't they? Yup. Oh, fuck, I'm dumb! Oh, no, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb! Increase VR budget! Ooh, I like VR! No, um... Okay, we have the choice of either doing... Of either doing one, two, three... No, let's, let's just do this, since we fucked that up anyway. Oops. Um, because, ah, oh, you need to get both... Ah, dumb! Tom, you are... Um, but whatever, let's get the better focuses anyway, since we're, uh, delaying ourselves. Okay. Um, what was I gonna do? Yeah, get a bit of research, good stuff. Marco Polo Bridge Incident. I wonder what's happening this time. Oh, we've got the, I do like the Mongol military government, it's always so funky. Um, how is, wait, are you, have you seriously got no focus tree? Why are you doing... Oh no, it's a thing with these guys where, for some reason, like, when you get three focuses in, you have to wait, like, ten years before you can do another focus. It's kind of weird. What are you guys doing, though? What? You're doing national reform. You might go strength the Republic or rethink the Republic. Power to the blue shirts! Good stuff. Uh, I mean, like, <laughs> once again, Remy, please, stop saying good stuff to fascist assault divisions, if you could. Um... Right, let's get this shit in. So, infantry and artillery. Perfect. Okay, and we're going to want to tune up the house cars as well. But I think let's focus on infantry for now. Also, we're about to get another choice. What do we want? Oh yeah, we're not even in a faction anymore. Declare one and run. Well, that's a bloody surprise. How they still have a fair few troops in Leningrad, but I kind of want to like sneak in a little deck of war right now. Just to fuck with them. Bulgaria and Yugoslavia is gone. Oh, sorry. Wait, Bulgaria is gone, rather. Not Yugoslavia. Whoops. Huh. Is so they actually buddy-buddy with Czechoslovakia? Neat. I do like Romania. It's like the British, uh, the United Kingdom of, uh, the Balkans. The Balkans. Let's see, what do we want? Good bit of, uh, military work. Good stuff. And we'll double up that barricade. Here we go. Loving it. Uh, we'll put it to three. Oh shit, we also need to put one there. And then we need to go over here and build some forts here. There we go. Get fortified. Uh, let's put a bit of 
anti-air as well are in the place. Here we go. I'm just particularly afraid over here. This is also where my industry is. I'll put one here. Cool. Um, that should hopefully give us a bonus in the air war against the Soviets. So let's actually form a... Oh, we don't have any bloody manpower. Well, fuck it. I think now's... Oh, we still can't do it. Oh, my God. The problem of being democratic. Fucking A. All right. Oh, well. You guys aren't all trained yet. You guys aren't all... Tra fuck, why are you guys not training? Wait a second. Why are you guys so slow? Yeah. No? It's not telling me. You guys just not train past this level? You guys gonna have not have gear to train with, maybe? That might be it. There we go, so you you guys are training. Well that's weird. I'm just gonna stop the rest of these guys who apparently aren't training. A little funky. Now what if I Try it again. That's, they just sort of stopped training them. Very unsure as what's happening here. Okay, well, never fucking mind that. What do you want? VT, hell yeah. Small arms, helping VT, uh, VKT expand is nice. Let's look, look, let's look at material, shall we? Since we still can't do bloody anything. Research, research, research. Industrial, that's not too bad. That's just a swastika. Um, I mean, you're still the best designer here, though. So, I might be going with the Swastika Brigade. Um, shite what I want. Ah, I guess let's bump it up to partial mobilization. It's going to be so much more helpful. There we go. Yeah, serious boost to our construction efforts. Lovely. Get plenty. Okay, let's look at... Ah, oh, it's 50% off. No, I think I want to save that for the actual construction stuff here. Yeah. 54 days, that's not too bad to get an efficiency cap up. Although I'd kind of want to prefer to get construction speed since we're doing that right now. And it's a 50% thing off anyway. Oh, the Iranians are communist now. God damn, Soviet Union's going ham. They really do have no way to claim war on me, do they? Wait, no, oh, Baltic security, there we go. They'll get the claims and then they'll uh, make the claims into it. It's Baltic security. That's not, nece that's not necessarily me, is it? Is it like Tartel? Is, is Tartel a nation of mine? Hang on. Karl Laurel Jack Jarlowsk. Sala? No, I don't think it is. Weird. So they not do. Oh, do I, am I going to have to deck on them? What is this shit? What is this shit? I thought they were going to deck on me. Go, we need all this stuff. No, no, no. Um, what do we need for now? We need to get our support companies finally. Field hospitals. Perfect. Get a bit more motorized in here. Here we go. Well, well, well. So I want to go, say, four of you lads. Cut back a bit here. Good stuff. No schla. All right. Now we need a bit more of them resources. What, what? Uh, we'll get them in from the U United States. I was about to say get them in from the Union. I mean, that's probably not the cleverest idea. Probably not the smartest one I've ever had. But uh, we'll see. Barak's holding out for now. Kind of interesting. I'm surprised they didn't like form a division, a bloody, uh, what do you call it, alliance together. Afghanistan's still holding out as well. The Union's down to zero people. Now's our chance. Go on. We've got this. We could just dive in, for fuck's sake. Alright, well, look, point is, no way we can do anything until they've actually uh, made some world tension until the, it's called we get a hundred world tension. Ooh, a little entente. Oh shit, okay. French Entente Alliance. Fair enough. Okay, that's pretty cool. But that is where we're going to call it, I do believe. For, uh, we certainly won't be getting to war today, unfortunately. But that was quite good fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that intro. Let's, uh, let's see what I make up for the next one. Till then, farewell. Farewell.